Parents of Reddit, what is the most ingenious thing you've had to punish your kids for? My son, three at a time, shredded a block of packing foam into the back of the floor fan like it was a cheese grater and made it snow in July. Suddenly there were tons of little white dots floating down the stairs. I hear giggles and it's snowing. I have never been so impressed and so angry at the same time. It's been 4 years and I still occasionally find those damn foam pieces. Not a parent. But my friend got grounded for a whole year when he got suspended from school for writing running a program to install Halo 1 on the network of school computers. He was grounded further when his parents found out he was making hundreds of dollars by running a RuneScape private server. He was a few years younger than me. And no older than 16 at the time. Kid is smart as hell. Obligatory not a parent disclaimer. My nephew, 3, is an extremely slow eater, because he sits there talking instead of eating, and his mom was trying to get him to speed up by putting a stop clock next to him whilst he ate. I was skyping with them one day during dinner time and I noticed every time she turned around, he would pause the clock and then start it again before she turned back. Edit, added a detail as too many people were assuming she was a terrible mother. Chill out. Reddit. Actual parent here, I recently had to punish my 13 year old for screen copying the school's campus page, they don't send notes, newsletters or it anymore, all online, and photoshopping out the classes for the day, and adding a curriculum day, it was 35c, a younger brother had a curriculum day, and we wanted to go to the beach but she had school, I didn't realize until the school called later in the day and left a voicemail asking why she was absent. She was banned from the internet for the weekend. I wasn't even mad. I would have done it as a kid if I could have. She definitely takes after me. The snack cracker boxes were all open and there were 3 or 4 mostly stale crackers left at the bottom of each of them. A few months earlier there was an awesome sale on Triscuits so we stocked up. Our little genius had been helping herself but still making it look as if we had plenty of unopened packages. She'd scarf down 95% of the package and swap the box with a full one in back of the shelf. Discovered this when we had some friends over and went to fill up a snack bowl. 5 boxes, about 20 crackers in total, was really hard to keep a straight face as we gave her a hard time about it. Colon, and was thankful that at least it wasn't like that time a friend's kid stole about 80% of their liquor cabinet content by refilling the bottles with water. When my son was 3 he had just basically finished potty training. He never had accidents. One day we got him a new small bath toy and let him play with it in the sink for a few minutes before bedtime. Not even 10 minutes after he got in bed. He started crying. We went to check on him and he had wet the bed. So as my wife is changing the sheets I'm cleaning him up in the bathroom. When he suddenly says do I take a bath now. And then it dawned on me. So I asked. Did you wet the bed on purpose so that we'd give you a bath so that you could play with your new toy? To which he hung his head and muttered yeah. I stepped away for a minute. Him thinking I was mad. But I was really just laughing. We cleaned him up and put him back to bed. But damn if he didn't have the conniving to think all that through. Okay. I'm not the parent of this kid. But I was his teacher in 5th grade. This kid was named Lenin. This is not a made up name. I love this kid. Be a d bad. But a total wissies and very bright. Anyway. Alka seltzer tablets were a fad at our school for a while because of the fizziness. But because it's considered a drug it was banned. So this ingenious duck sets up an Alka seltzer drug ring run out of the 5th grade restrooms. He had drug mules and everything. He would ask to use the restroom in different classes at specific times and arrange that with his henchmen. His drug mules BTW were our two boys whose pawpaw was a known drug runner through his trucking business. And they brought in most of the Alka-Seltzer tabs. He spread the word about the times he would be in the bathroom. And anyone who wanted Alka-Seltzer would go. They paid him an our school money we gave the kids as rewards. Eventually got busted because too many boys were having Alka-Seltzer fueled parties in the bathroom and they got loud enough to be caught. Lenin got suspended for 3 days for that. Totally unrepentant when he came back. Dug a hole in the sand in the schoolyard. Convinced all his friends to pee in the hole. Convinced kindergartners to play swim in said hole. A friend of mine in HS used record over Disney movies with porn then sell it at school. 
he'd walk right into school with a handful of VHS tapes full of porn and all the teachers thought it was just Disney movies. His parents had one of those hacks on their TV and got every channel. He told his parents years later and he just bought them basically the full Disney collection. His dad was proud but his mom was pissed and wanted her Disney tapes back. My youngest, now 5, was pestering my oldest, now 8, a couple of years ago. He kept hitting and poking and being pretty annoying. I told him he needed to use safe, kind hands and keep his hands to himself. Little man processed this for a few seconds, then whacked his big brother with his forearm while making sure to keep his hands out of the way. He looked at me, wagged his fingers and did. My hands were safe and kind. Poor kid still got sent to his room. Not a parent but my dad tells this one about my older brother. So in high school he was the cool kid smoking behind the gym. Cutting class and always at a party. He used to sneak off to a pizza place for lunch every day till he go caught and told he couldn't leave school for lunch anymore. His solution? He ordered pizza to his classroom window. In the middle of class he stands up, walks to the window, opens it and grabs a pizza box. He pays the guy sits down and enjoys. The principal and my dad both had a good laugh about it. There wasn't much punishment. But this happened the other day. I have a 3 yo Tasmanian devil of a boy. And a 9 mo baby girl that's not even really crawling but gets around well with the army crawl. My son comes running to me mommy mommy come look scout made a mess. I follow him out to the balcony and one of my planters had half the flowers pulled out of it and thrown over the edge. Scout was sitting there by it with a little bit of dirt on her, but my son had much more dirt on his hands. Plus the fact that most of the flowers had been thrown over the edge, which he is not capable of doing. TL. Doctor my 3 yo son destroyed a planter, lured his baby sister out to the crime scene so that he could frame her. I was working tech support for a tant when a father called in irate that we were stealing his data. He used the at and app and was constantly checking the data usage of his two adolescent children. One of which a 10 year old boy who was constantly going over his data and using up the shared data bucket for the whole family. The father was tired of this and had blocked the data on his son's phone but allowed his daughter, the good child, to use data on her phone. Since she did so sparingly. Now this month a tant was saying that his daughter had used 18 gigabytes of data in one month incurring multiple expensive overage charges and he was insisting that this was impossible. After a bit of digging I discovered that someone had swapped the sim cards between the brother and sister's phone and then to hide the fact. Also forwarded numbers from one phone to the other and vice versa. So none would be the wiser. I had to explain it to the father twice and he was more amazed than pissed at his 10 year old son's technological savvy. My daughter at the age of 5 was employing her kindergarten friends to dig up special gems, which were actually just plastic craft sparkle things, then she was selling the gems to other students for $2 each then going back and paying her little school friends with 50 CIC poles from the canteen. And her friends who found the most gems would earn commission and occasionally would be paid a packet of lollies $1.10. It got to a point where kids were begging to be employed by her as the payment was so good and it created some issues as she had to fire some and employ others. This went on for about 2 months. Until one day my daughter came home with $22. Next day I was called to the school to have a beating about my daughter's business ventures. Teachers were actually so impressed by her ability to do something like this but it was getting to the point where some kids would spend all their lunch money on these things. That day I had to tell my daughter how incredibly proud of her I am. Because her mind is so advanced but it's not the right thing to do at school. Since then I've told her she can use her skills with my work and she's constantly finding ways to upsell all the clients. Wish I had the skills she has. Not punishment. But when my kids were small if there was a food item that they were to show one would cut it in half. And the other got to pick which half they got. You would never believe the precision of the cutting that occurred when a kid knew any variation in size would mean they would end up with a smaller piece. My boy was still in elementary school when we were contacted because he had hit a girl. At face value. Not okay. But he told us that she was always messing with him and that this time she had threatened to tell the teacher that he had slapped her even though he hadn't. Yet. His reasoning was that if she was going to say he had. Then he might as well because he'd get in trouble anyway. She didn't bother him again after that incident. 
Can I talk about myself? Not sure if I ever was punished but in 4th grade I ran a loan sharking business with attendance points. We got little coupons for attending all week. And could spend them on office supplies and stickers and stuff. I saved mine and started loaning with high interest. By the end of the year I controlled the entire supply and bought out the most expensive reward. No homework passes. Enough to skip homework the last month of school. When I was 4. I was eating all the raspberries from the garden bush. I was told I was not allowed to take any more. A 12 year old was around. I asked him to take some for me because they were too far away. So I got me a nice big handful. When I was caught eating some shortly after. I was scolded for having picked more raspberries. Then immediately pointed to the kid and said. I did not pick any. He gave them to me. Yeah. He asked me. Didn't break any rules. Got raspberries. Got scolded. Still one. Not the parent. But I was definitely one of those kids. My dad worked in IT and therefore had a written of ways to punish me involving me computers and the like. Any punish he grew at me quickly became an arms race of who could outdo each other. Blacklist my PC IP and I'd replace the network card in my computer. Blacklist my phone IP and I'd install a Wi-Fi card and use that as a hotspot. I didn't have mobile data back then. Admin write on computer and I changed to Linux. Tried to use the computer when I was away and I changed the theme to the most hideously eye bleeding theme with all the animations. Think like those Tumblr blogs that are fluorescent colored and have a written of music and animations and the layout makes no ducking sense. Hell. I even learnt windings so he couldn't even tell what was what. He gave up when I remote accessed my sister's computer to do stuff on when he made me go back to windows. I'm the kid. I was 5. My mother made a tray of brownies for dessert but only let me have like a square inch of brownie. I wanted more. So, once everyone was asleep, I went into the kitchen and ate the duck out of those brownies and went back to bed. I get up in the morning and my mother's already in the kitchen making breakfast. She wants to know who ate the goddamn brownies. And I, being the master criminal that I am, explain that the brownie robber did. All the brownie robber does is break into people's houses and eat brownies. My mother kept asking me for more and more details. Which I helpfully provided. This went on for like half an hour. Then she gets her Kodak Instamatic camera and takes a picture of me. Lo and behold. I have chocolate smeared all over my face as I'm standing there earnestly trying to get her to believe the story of the brownie robber. I'm 51. Family members still tell this duckin story. When I was about 10, I went to Burger King for breakfast with my family before we went shopping. I had a habit of ordering food, eating what I liked, and discarding the rest. My dad grew up poor and would always lecture us about wasting food. So, he sat there and watched me pick through my breakfast, get up with my plate, and toss it into the trash. When everyone else finished and we were heading for the door, my dad went up to one of the cashiers and asked for one Burger King crown. I'm not sure if they still make these, but they're cardboard crowns painted gold with jewels with two hooks in the back to hold it in place. Well, my dad brought the crown over to us and placed that paper crown on my tiny head and said you have to wear this for the rest of the day. We went to the mall that day and I ran into a few people from school. You wouldn't believe how much running and hiding I did. I would try to sneak away from my dad to take the crown off. But my dad would call out my name in a low voice and I would drop my hands down in defeat. Anyway, I learned my lesson that day. Sorta. Alexa what's 11 add 5? Double quote. Alexa what's 10 minus 6? Six year old son doing his homework. I had to take a Swiss army knife away from my 11 year old after he started the car with it. My friends slowly eat their kids dessert. Bite by bite. If they don't eat enough of their main course. Only a few more hours to go before a slitter shall call 23 parents reveal the time they had to punish their kids for being geniuses appears on Facebook containing the top 23 responses to this. Babysitting my nephew this last weekend. He's a picky eater and being too. Is very difficult to deal with right now. Eating lunch. He wanted to get down. I told him he can go play if he eats all of his peas. I start doing bushes and about 5-10 minutes later they are all gone. Good job, bud. He goes off and plays and eventually fills his diaper, changing him. 
I found all the peas from lunch crammed in every nook and cranny of his diaper. He just laughed and I did too. I destroyed my son's PS3 after he turned in a 2.0 GPA. My son has been a 4.0 GPA student for years. Then one summer I realized he has been playing a way too much games. Dark Souls and Demon Souls stuff. So. I told him. Keep up your GPA and I don't care if you play a bunch of games. He agreed. When his grades came back bad. I removed the lens from the PS3 and snickered when he couldn't figure out why his PS3 wouldn't work. His grades are now up to 4.0 and he is playing Dark Souls III on his PS4. I probably won't break this one because I am playing Witcher 3. Damn. That's an amazing game. Edit. Bunch of words. Bunch of beers. Yes. I am a parent. However. This particular instance is about me. In middle school. I had to be in the house. Inside my room by 10pm. On the weekend. In times of wall mounted phones. I found a way to stay out as late as I wanted. So long as I was able to sneak back in without getting caught. Around 9pm or so I would call my house phone from wherever I happened to be. When my mom would answer the phone I would reply. I got it mom. It's. Insert friend's name here. She would say. Oh. I didn't know you were home. Yeah. I got home like an hour ago. Oh. Okay. Have a good night. Then we would both hang up the phone. She never found out about this until she was diagnosed with a glioblastoma, most aggressive brain tumor, and was only given a short time to live. When it was just her and I in her hospital room awaiting her brain surgery, he asked if there was anything that I did growing up that she never found out about. When I told her this story, she laughed hysterically and proudly said it sounded like something she would have done growing up. For your information. She was given 7-12 months to live when she was diagnosed in 2013. She is still with us today and is of only 3% to have lived this long after this diagnosis. I'm not a parent but I have been a kid before. One time my twin cried. Distracting my parents. And I grabbed a bag of shredded cheese and started rolling in it on the floor. Allegedly. My brother in kindergarten once cut a hole in his shirt, like a big square over his stomach. When his teacher asked why on earth he did that, he told her he was hot and so me made an AC for his tummy. Mom wasn't even mad. She and the teacher both got a good laugh out of it. Edit. I'm sorry for typing quickly on a phone. Hole also he not me. Kinda late to the party. I am not the parent. I am the child and I didn't end up getting punished. My dad had to figure out whether to punish me or not for writing programs in my TI-84 calc that would do certain types of math problems for me. He ended up not grounding me because he figured I had to have a good understanding of the equations and algorithms to code them. Just yesterday, I caught my 3 yo making herself eggs. We were working outside, and we put on Sesame Street for her. Usually keeps her occupied for enough time to get some heavy work done. My so went into the house to find her. Chair pushed up to the stove. Eggs in the egg pan. She was even using the right spatula so as not to scratch the egg pan. She had cracked two eggs. Perfectly. Into the pan. She set the shells into one another neatly on the cutting board. No shells in the pan. She was at the stove stirring the eggs. Hand on the knob and about to turn on the gas. I was so proud of her. But yeah. Now we can't leave her alone for 30 minutes anymore. So that kinda sucks. My daughter was about 18 months old and in daycare. If you've ever had a toddler in a daycare center, you know that at that age biting is a thing and it's miraculous if you go a week without your kid being the biter or bitty. Picked up my daughter and her teacher pulled me aside immediately and said my daughter had done one of the funniest things she'd ever seen in the toddler room. Apparently my daughter and another boy were fighting over a toy. They were both getting quite angry. My daughter stuck her arm out inches from the boy's mouth and yelled bite. The boy bit her. The boy got reprimanded and my daughter got cuddles and a band-aid. She knew exactly what she was doing. We had a, another, talk about biting that night and how it's not appropriate to instigate our friends. My son got in trouble at school. He was trying to be funny and made a mess with some ranch packets. So the principal takes him to the bathroom to wash up then he say you are in serious trouble. My son always being the defiant guy that he is walks past the principal and barricades himself in the toilet stall. 
They try to reach under to get him and they can't. They can't unlock the door either. They call his mom, ex-wife. He demands to speak to me. They give him a phone and calls me and I talk to him rationally about his decisions that day and work out between me and the principal what was going to happen. So he was in a situation and found a highly defensible area and barricaded himself in until he got what he wanted from the situation. He like 7 more years I can tell him how amazing that was. But he was like 8 when he did that. This isn't as impressive as some of these. But it made me laugh pretty hard. I remember when my oldest nephew was 2 or 3 he was of course obsessed with cell phones and would play with them non-stop. It got to the point that his parents forbid us from letting him play with our cell phones because they felt it was getting unhealthy. Well, my nephew was upset when my dad told him no. He couldn't play with his cell phone. He threw a small tantrum and then those little arms went up in the air. That little lip went poking out. And he said in his sweet little voice, Hold me, Guamba. Of course my dad bent over and picked him up only to have a devious smile spread across my nephew's face as his tiny hand shot for my dad's shirt pocket. The same pocket we had both just watched him tuck his phone in. I still laugh when I remember the look of wide-eyed surprise on my dad's face. TLDR. 50 year old man conned by a conniving screen addicted 3 year old.